everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to continue on with our t Kenter series working on our calculator. And today's video, we are going to have, we're going to learn how to expand uh, the text input and a button to fill the whole frame. So all right, let's just see where we left off. So I had you guys go ahead and just fill out the rest of the window with each of these and add this bottom bottom row and add these columns. So now the one thing that we are missing is a text input box which we know how to do and one button at the bottom. Um, we know how to do buttons so let's just go ahead and get to it. So we're gonna put this right here and we're going to call it entry and equals ttk dot entry we, we know how to do all this when then entry dot grid then row, now it's going to be at the top, and we started at row one, so this is row zero. That's why we did that. And column, and this is going to be a little, a little mean. We'll change it in a minute. Column zero. So let's run this and bring this in here. So, okay. This is weird so now I'm going to show you how many columns did we have one two three four so watch this column span four kinda cool alright so now we're getting kinda close now here's a keyword that we have not seen before alright sticky this is and this takes a string so you have the four directions north south east and west we want to stretch this everywhere north south east west okay does that make sense boom here we go so now we're going to do the exact same thing with our button so we're going to come down here we want it right at the bottom very last one so button this is going to be our equals this is going to be our equals ttk dot button when text equals close that out button grid row now same same thing row 5 column span 4 and then sticky string north south east west close that out boom so there we go that is how we can make a text input or a button stretch and fill because you could come in here and size this but you'd be guessing so this we use column span along with sticky so if you would have wanted to do four and just shove it one way or the other you can experiment with this or top so top and bottom left and right north south east and west the compass as you're going right to uh, or never eat soggy waffles that's clockwise that's what I learned might show you how a little old I am right now. So that is that. Now there's a could we need to do a lot more with this. Let me make sure you can see that. Yep. Fill frame. So there we go, guys. We are getting closer and closer to have a functioning calculator. Right now we have a oops, we have a visual calculator. I have it right here. Sorry. 
uh, visual. Now we just have to, there's one more thing that we'll do next time and we'll tie this all together and we need some functionality. But you have designed a calculator. Now you can get fancy and add some more things over here, but this is, this is bare bones and we know how to bind this. We can, we can do that quickly. Actually, you guys can go back and look at it. We may just have this all together. But I'm going to have this on uh, uh, GitHub, and I'll have the link down below. So please drop any comments, questions, video requests, anything that I went over too quickly, anything you need a deep dive on, please don't hesitate to ask. Because if you have that question, or even kind of have that question, somebody else has that as well. So let's take care of the community. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.